Hi everyone and welcome to lesson number 30. Bonjour et bienvenue à la leçon 30. Euh, cette leçon sera, je l'espère, intéressante car on va parler du temps de conjugation present perfect. So we're going to learn the present perfect today in English, all right? Um, to make the present perfect, you need a subject, then the verb to have, and then uh, the past participle, okay? Le participe passé. All right. So, ce temps est utilisé pour exprimer un événement qui s'est produit dans le passé, mais qui a toujours des conséquences actuelles. On l'utilise pour montrer un lien entre le passé et le présent dans un certain nombre de situations. Okay? Par exemple, lorsqu'une action est répétée encore et encore entre le passé et le présent, comme dans l'exemple ici. I will read it now. You have been to England several times in the last two years. You have been to England several times in the last two years. Vous êtes allé en Angleterre plusieurs fois au cours des deux dernières années. Okay, you have been to England several times in the last two years. Ce temps peut également être utilisé lorsque vous voulez décrire une action qui a débuté dans le passé et qui se poursuit encore aujourd'hui. Comme dans l'exemple ici. We have lived in Austria since 2016. We have lived in Austria since 2016. Okay, so uh, that means nous vivons en Autriche depuis 2016. We have lived in Austria since 2016. Okay, and that's with the present perfect. Have, okay, and then we have the past participle, lived. All right? Okay. Vous pouvez aussi l'utiliser lorsque le temps n'est pas un aspect important de votre énoncé. Par exemple, he has lost his baseball cap. Okay. He has lost his baseball cap. Il a perdu sa casquette de baseball. He has lost his baseball cap. Um, disons maintenant qu'une action est en cours, mais qu'elle n'est pas encore terminée. Par exemple, It has snowed so much this winter season. It has snowed so much this winter season. Il a tellement neigé cet hiver. Okay. Il a tellement neigé cet hiver. Okay? It has snowed so much this winter season. Ou encore, si une action a été achevée récemment, vous pouvez également utiliser le present perfect, comme dans l'exemple ici. I have just finished my bachelor's degree. I have just finished my bachelor's degree. Je viens de terminer mon baccalauréat. Okay? I have just finished my Baccalauréat, which is a bachelor's degree, we say in English. I have just finished my bachelor's degree. Et euh, comme vous pouvez le voir, il y a de nombreuses façons d'utiliser ce temps. Et euh, à bien des égards, il est similaire au français. OK? Chaque fois que vous utilisez ce temps, vous devez vous assurer d'utiliser correctement le participe passé. You have to use the past participle correctly. Ces formes diffèrent souvent de celles des, ver euh, des verbes au passé simple, mais dans de nombreux cas, elles sont identiques. OK? C'est une chose que vous devrez mémoriser et étudier attentivement. All right? Par exemple, I talked with him about it versus I have talked with the present perfect to have and then the past participle. I have talked with him about it. Okay? So we have talked and we have talked. Okay? It's the same thing. All right? But one is the past participle. Okay? So vous pouvez voir ici que le participe passé est identique à la forme utilisée avec le passé simple. Euh, maintenant, regardez celui-ci. I saw her at the beach versus I have seen her at the beach. So we have seen and we have saw. OK? Seen and saw. OK? Ici, vous pouvez voir que le mot n'est pas identique. OK? It's not identical. Euh, il existe une variété de formes. Euh, il est donc important de les mémoriser. You have to memorize these. OK, guys? You can't just always use um, the past simple 
tense, okay? You can't do that. Sometimes you have to use the past participle when you want to use the present perfect. And they're not always identical, okay? Okay. Voici quelques-uns des verbes les plus importants que vous avez vus jusqu'à présent, okay? De la, leçon, uh, de la leçon 1 à la leçon 30, okay? Till this lesson here. To have, avoir. And then we have had, like in the le passé simple. And then we have the had form, okay, which is le participe passé, okay? The past participle is had right here. Next, être, to be. Was, were, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, they were, okay? And then we have uh, the past participle, been. And then we have to do, faire. And then we have did, I did my homework yesterday. Done, okay? I have done all my homework for the year, okay? So it's a little different. To see, voir, saw, seen. Like right here. I saw her at the beach versus I have seen her at the beach, okay? So similar. Okay, vouloir, to want. Wanted and wanted, same. To like. Aimer. Liked, liked. Same thing. To eat. Manger. Ate and eaten. For example, I ate a sandwich. Okay? And I have eaten many things throughout my life. Okay? So, eaten is a little bit different. And then we have to speak. Parler. Spoke. Spoken. Okay? To say. Dire. Said. Said. So, same thing. To come. Came, come. So, come is the same as the infinitive right here. To come. Uh, venir. To talk, parler. Talked, talk. Same thing. To write, écrire. Wrote, written. I wrote a letter to you. Okay. I have written many letters to my grandma. To sing, chanter. Sang, sung. Okay. So, I sang a song at his bar mitzvah. <laughs> okay. Um, or sung, okay? She has sung many beautiful songs throughout her career. To forget, okay? Oublié. Forgot, okay? Come, uh, I forgot, j'ai oublié. And forgotten, I have forgotten, okay? J'ai oublié, okay? So there's not much of a difference in French, but in English, yes, there is a difference. We have present perfect in English. To wake up, se réveiller. What, or just réveiller, to wake up someone, or I wake up myself. Um, so, woke up, okay, je me suis réveillé, I woke up, and woken up, I have woken up. To go, aller, went and gone, okay. He went to the party, okay. She has gone on an adventure. To get, okay, to get is like, hmm, to get, chercher. Okay, that's a good one. Chercher. To get. And then we have got, I got, and then gotten. Okay, for example, <laughs> when we say to get, it's also, it's, c'est uh, comme le verbe avoir, okay, to get, all right? So, um, to get is kind of like, I got a phone, all right? Meaning, like, it was a present. I got a phone. Or you could say, I have gotten good grades this year. Okay, to drive, conduire, drove, and then driven. To think, thought, thought. So same thing. To think, penser. To break, cassé. Broke, broken. Okay. Sometimes people say uh, break is like brisé, cassé. Okay. Um, je me suis cassé le bras. Right. I broke my arm. To take, prendre. Took. Taken. To fall, tombé. Fell, fallen. I'll switch around. To sing, or I'm sorry, to ring, sonné, like uh, a phone. The telephone rings, okay, sonné. Rang, rung, okay. The phone rang, or you could say, the phone has rung five times and you have not answered, okay. So have rung. To buy, bought and boughten. Okay, yesterday I bought a new TV. Okay, this year I have bought all my Christmas presents. To become, became, become. 
to steal, stole, stolen, voler, okay? to become, devenir, to buy, acheter, acheter, to, to ring, sonner, uh, to steal, voler, to try, essayer, I tried, I have tried, to know, savoir, um, or uh, connaître, knew, known, okay? I knew that. Like, I knew that information. I have known about that for a long time, okay? Have known, right? Savoir is to know, or you could say connaître. Like, in English, we only have one. Ainsi, comme vous pouvez le voir, uh, il existe de nombreuses formes qui sont différentes dans leur forme de participe passé. Et elles doivent être pratiquées et mémorisées. You have to practice these guys, you have to memorize these guys. Ok? Il est important de garder à l'esprit que l'utilisation de have suivie du participe passé ne doit être utilisée que un avec des expressions qui ne sont pas spécifiques dans le temps, deux pour exprimer une période de temps euh, inachevée. Alright. 3. Pour parler d'événements qui se sont produits dans un, dans un passé récent, mais dont l'effet se fait encore sentir jusqu'à présent. Et finalement, 4. Okay. Et parfois aussi pour poser des questions. Alright. Euh, comme dans les exemples ici. Number 1, number 2, number 3. Where have I left my keys? Where have I left? Right? Present perfect. We're asking a question with a question mark. Where have I left my keys? Où ai-je laissé mes clés? Number two. Have you met Arta yet? Have you met Arta yet? Avez-vous déjà rencontré Arta? Number three. How have you been these past few years? How have you been these past few years? Uh, comment avez-vous été ces dernières années? How have you been these past few years? Okay. En tout cas, mes amis, j'espère que ça a clarifié toute confusion possible que vous pourriez avoir en utilisant le present perfect. All right? I hope it wasn't too hard. Comme toujours, merci d'avoir regardé et à la prochaine fois. See you next time. Bye.